as you are born. The first hardship that you may face is where you were born. Subhanallah. You might say how? And you might already know. You might have experienced it. What if you were born in a war zone? Was it your fault? No. It was Allah's test. That is evidence enough to prove that your maker decided to test you by making you be born in an area where it was going to be a war zone. Subhanallah. Your test. Hardship. You were born into hardship as soon as you were born. In fact, when you were conceived, you started hearing sounds. You started hearing sounds of bombing, sounds of shooting, sounds of people screaming and yelling. That is a test, wallahi. It is a powerful test. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for those in that type of a test. Those who are being tested from when they are in the wombs of their mothers. But there is a test that actually goes beyond that one. You know what it is? Worse than being born in a war zone is when Allah has chosen for you that you will be born into this world with some challenge in the form of disability. So you're born and you did not see from day one. That is a hardship. And Allah says that hardship is not only for you. But we want to give the opportunity to those around you to earn their paradise through serving you. Wow. So, a person was born, they couldn't see. A child was born, cerebral palsy. A child was born perhaps without an organ. A child was born perhaps some form of deformity. The test is for the parents and for those around and the community and the philanthropists. The test is for them. Are you going to rise to the occasion? Are you going to help another of your kind? You've only got one more year to live. Let's see what you're going to do for this child that you witnessed and you saw. I remember a wealthy man. Again, I know him, but without names. Was watching a television channel and in Niger he saw people he saw a specific child a specific child eating the sand out of hunger and this man was a multi-millionaire perhaps into the billions and he decided I want to find out who this is and I want to do something about these people and wallahi I'm not joking he got hold of the channel. It was a Western channel. It was CNN. He got hold of whoever. He found out from his own people who are around him where that was. He got hold of people there. He found the exact location and he located the person. It took him a bit of time. He decided to build a school, to drill boreholes, to make roads, to do whatever he had to. I don't know about the roads, but I know he built a school and he gave them food and he taught them things and he did clothing for them and whatever else. He changed the whole community. And guess what? A few months later, he passed away of cancer. The same man. May Allah grant him Jannatul Firdaus. What prodded him to do this? He was flicking the channels. He was flicking the channels. He saw someone going through hardship. He felt it. He did not know them. He did not know who they were. He just knew they were human beings. They were suffering. This is a Muslim man. And he decided, I've got all the money in the world. What am I going to do? I've got all the money in the world. What am I going to do? Let me help these people. Later on, they found out that he did it for many, many communities. Subhanallah, that is how he spent his money. How have you spent your money? And we sit and we busy bad mouth the same people without even knowing the good they've done. 